Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Katrina Walcott. And I'm Joshua Wright. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. There's a new commanding officer at the Naval Air Station Patuxent River. Captain Christopher Cox was recently promoted to commanding officer to the Navy's program. Executive officers serve about 18 months before being promoted to a commanding position. Captain John J. Brabazon took Croc's prior position of executive officer, which also sets up Brabazon up to be commanding officer once Cox's tenure is over. Cox graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis in 1995 with a degree in marine engineering before receiving his Master of Science degree in natural resource strategy. Captain Jason Hammond, who recently retired and stepped down from the role that Cox is taking on, said that Cox is by far the smartest human being I've ever come across. Jennifer Cord, a fifth grade teacher at White Marsh Elementary School, has been given the Teacher of the Year Award by the St. Mary's County. She has taught at White Marsh for 21 years and has built relationships not only with the students, but with the parents. Cord said, it's not just the teaching part that matters, it's the relationship part. They need to know you care. Not many people can say they love what they do every day. Many of her students describe her as funny and sarcastic. Bryce Gillingham, an 11-year-old student, said, she makes me laugh almost every day. The Washington Post also recognizes educators in the area and named Tracy Harding, a social studies teacher at Leonardtown High School, as it's St. Mary's County, Teacher of the Year, and Mike Egan, Principal of the Dr. James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center, as it's St. Mary's County, Principal of the Year. St. Mary's has a new animal control supervisor, Joy Wilson. Wilson brings her background of animal rescue from her time working in the Animal Control Department of Loudoun County, Virginia, and as a member of the Alexandria Animal Welfare League, a nonprofit contracted to perform animal control services in Northern Virginia in 2010. Wilson's priority as the county's animal control supervisor is to educate the public through community outreach and to provide more training for animal control officers. Wilson says, we are a positive resource. Everyone in the division does this job because we love animals. The Animal Control Division can be reached at 301-475-8018 Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. For an animal control emergency after hours, call 301-475-8016. The Wheels to Wellness program helps patients with free transportation to the hospital. Organized by local volunteer groups, Wheels to Wellness works to transport disabled or low-income patients who can't afford transportation to the MedStar St. Mary's Hospital in Leonardtown and Calvert Health in Prince Frederick. The Tri-County Council for Southern Maryland, ARC Southern Maryland, and the Center for Life Enrichment are all working together to help as many patients as possible. John Hartline, the executive director for the Tri-County Council, said transportation is needed in rural areas such as Southern Maryland. There's no way things like Uber and Lyft are going to take people in wheelchairs, Hartline said. People in Southern Maryland, options like Uber and Lyft are not there. People who don't have family members to transport them, they have no option, says Yolanda Hipsky, the regional transit coordinator for the Tri-County Council. The program started in August 2018 and made about 200 trips a month. The Chopticon Braves defeated the La Plata Warriors in their Southern Maryland Athletic Conference softball game, keeping their win streak intact. Chopticon was down 0-5 early in the game, but came back with a shocking 11-7 victory, making their overall season record 10-0. Chopticon Braves' Caitlin Birch said, It felt really good. Even though they scored five runs, I know that we have a really good hitting team, so I knew we were going to come back. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Joshua Wright. And I'm Katrina Walcott. Signing, signing off. off.